Okay, boys, today we got a big, fat, juicy drama story that I'm excited to tell you guys about. It involves Andy Warski, The Kill Stream, Ian Miles Chong, Keemstar, Sky Williams, Tipster, Tommy C, and Memology. This is a big one. So today we're going to be talking about how Ian sent a SWAT team to somebody's house and got their dog killed with a flashbang. The reasons for him doing this is related to a completely other drama that I'm not familiar with, so I'm gonna have my boy Augie from Red Fox Comms come in and give you a bit of exposition on why he did this, and then we can get into the juicy drama that ensued on Twitter. Hey guys, my name is Augie RFC, and Bobox called me over to sort of explain the Ian Miles Chunk situation, a uh, situation on YouTube and Twitter that I've been following uh, pretty closely for the past week or so. Ian claimed he got a message from the user Wild Goose, a small 500 sub YouTuber that barely post videos as you can see but why would he swat this particular individual it's because that he supposedly sent him a dm saying that he had bitcoin assassins coming to kill in at first when you told me that i had sent you a weird message i was like oh yeah probably or whatever but i uh -huh. didn't remember but now you're saying like something that i definitely yeah. wouldn't have ever said so someone is it, was someone fucking with me and just using your probably. username or something Pro probably oh. that's that's been done before Shit. But how did Ian get this dox in the first place? It was given to him by none other than a Twitter user known as Mombot. Here's Ian admitting to it on the same kill stream. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's Mombot. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> Holy shit! After revealing this information, Ian then goes on to read some of the DM conversations he had with Mombot regarding the docs. Alright, so this is in February, by the way. Okay, so it's like, uh, I spoke to Rider House and he can give you Goose's name and details to report to the police. Uh, and whatever else you do with those details is left to your discretion. I said, all right. YouTube user Wild Goose subsequently was swatted and his dog was killed with a flashbang. Wow, what an interesting reason to swat somebody. I guess swat first, ask questions later, right? God. Okay, now let's get into the Twitter drama. So this starts out when Memology uploads a video exposing Ian for doing a multitude of horrible things. <laughs> I just had two police officers, two detectives, interrogate me and search my house. One of which is sending a SWAT team to Wild Goose's house, which resulted in them throwing a flashbang that ended up killing his dog. The video ends up getting false flagged and taken down. Many people think that Ian himself took down the video. Which would make a lot of sense considering the content in that video. So he ends up denying it on Twitter. Then Ian goes on to highlight and send to Keem this whole thread made by his friend called Steve McRae, kind of just going into depth about why he's innocent in this scenario. You can read the whole thing if you want to. I guess it's kind of up in the air whether you believe Ian or everybody else in the scenario. But even if Ian didn't do this, like everything else he's done that has been guaranteed proven, like swatting Andy Warski and a bunch of other stuff that we're going to get into later in this video, I have a really hard time giving this guy the benefit of doubt at all and keep in mind i did not know who ian was until i started working on the story last night he basically claims it's a video from 2013 and this whole dog being killed is fabricated even though the guy doesn't have his dog anymore which is a bit strange and he did end up admitting it on live stream so why did you dox wild goose to david shitrat okay so here's the thing um just to clarify it's i didn't do the research of the docs it was given to me by some other people i don't really know honestly it is yeah. stupid yeah like dude i really wasn't thinking yo that was my bad i really fucked up there. No, you honestly right. like you i'm, I'm just owning up to it but uh <laughs> several sheriff's deputies showed up to my father's house and threw a flashbang in the pool with uh my dad's dog in so you blew up a fucking yellow labrador retriever <laughs> Uh, because of mistaken <laughs> identity. Totally didn't deserve to, to get flash banged and all that. Totally apologize for that. Even if the dog didn't end up dying, which it did, uh, he was still responsible for doxing this man and sending a SWAT team to his house. Keemstar mentions that Memology's video got taken down and asks people if they want to hear it more on Drama Alert. This causes Ian to respond by saying, Nobody got swatted. Christ's sakes, Keem. You were on the same stream I was when that went down. Which... My boy Augie replies to, you admitted it on the kill stream, which he did, to be fair. Keemstar replies basically pointing out that this stuff did happen. So whether he's responsible or not, he's actually trying to deny the fact 
that the dog got killed. Augie points out the fact that he admitted to it and now he's kind of backtracking, pretending it never happened. Pretty stupid move to make on the internet, if I'm being honest. Nobody got swatted. No dog got flashbanged. It was a meme. You were on the stream. You know this. There's literally footage of the dog getting flashbanged, which, I mean, he says it's from 2013, but I guess whether it is or not is up to people's own interpretation. And you have admitted on stream that you shared Goose's docs. What do you mean it's a meme? Yes, like even if the swatting never happened, he admitted to knowing Goose's docs and he has swatted people in the past like he just tried to swat Andy Warski, which is 100% proven as a fact. So it's not a huge logic leap to assume that he actually did end up swatting Goose. Then ya boy, the Scoop Stevie comes in saying, where's the video evidence scheme? Provide it now or I'm exposing you in a video on The Scoop tomorrow. Oh boy, The Scoop. What is this website? Oh, it's basically a website version of my channel. Very original, dude. Come on. Like, you can do better. Plus, does anyone even go to these type of websites anymore? Uh, yikes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Keem is intimidated, if I'm being honest. Then we have one of my favorite drama participants, Sky Williams, come in saying, I know you're not the type to bail, but Keemstar will genuinely crucify you. He's way too strong here. This isn't the hill you want to die on, or the matchup you want to play. I don't know what this is about, but just give him the W and open up a Bible. And read. LOL, like this. Oh boy, I love how Sky William always comes into these intense dramas trying to meme it up. Yeah, I'll go rot in prison because some guy on the internet made up a bunch of lies about me. Great take, Sky. The fact that he brings this up just kind of shows that, you know, he's probably just trying to say that he didn't do it just to kind of avoid potential jail time, which is a fine, you know, motive for lying, but uh, I, I mean, it kind of just proves that he's lying. Answer honest, Ian. Did you call the police on Warski? No reply. He did guilty. <laughs> I'm, maybe I'm a bit too biased in this uh, reporting of the situation. I'm not sure. And then this is Sky Williams' response to what Ian said earlier. I'm not saying that you're right or wrong or that he's right or wrong. I'm saying that Keem has proven again and again and again and again and again that no matter what happens, he can't and won't lose. Literally all I'm saying. Content cop flashbacks black and white flashbacks to the war on YouTubers. I was there with them, in the trenches. It was horrible. I couldn't sleep for days. I saw those niggas unsubscribe, and he ended up coming back from the dead. This man isn't human. Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news! Video evidence from a random 2013 YouTube video, my dude. You gotta do your research better. So at this point, it seems like Ian has a solid defense for what he's being accused of. So naturally, Keemstar tweets out, Dear Ian and Andy, I'm inviting both of you on Drama Alert to debate the current drama about the stolen or not stolen channel, which is another drama that's kind of lumped into the dog story. Hard pass. I don't need anyone to monetize injustice happening to me. This drama has nothing to do with you or anybody else besides Andy and me. And it's regrettable that he's decided to involve the public over his paranoid delusions. Yes, his paranoid delusions of literally getting the police sent to his house because of you. Yeah, I think at that point you do need to talk about it publicly. As for monetizing injustice, um, I'm pretty sure if you're given an opportunity to share your side of the story, share the truth, the monetization isn't really a relevant aspect or as relevant as it should be. But, I mean, some people have different mindsets on that. Prove yourself in the court of public opinion. I'm giving you both the platform. That's what I'm doing, Keem. It's on my own terms, not yours. I know, but you only have few fans and Andy has way more, and I thought Drama Alert would give you a fair chance since most people hate you now from what I see. Oh well. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. If the public opinion of him is negative, why wouldn't he want to come on Drama Alert to rectify that? It seems to me like the only reason he wouldn't go on Drama Alert is because he is afraid that he'll say something on that video that could be used against him in the future. Like, for example, him admitting that he had the docs for Goose on the kill stream. That was definitely something that I'm pretty sure he regrets terribly right now. Then some random on Twitter replies to Keemstar saying, 
you're just sucking Warski's dick, which, no matter what the drama scenario is, this is always the stupidest and weakest argument that any fan can give regarding a drama situation. You're just sucking that person's dick. I get it a lot, and it's just really stupid and it's worth ignoring, but Keem decided to reply to it, saying, Only the losing side will make arguments like this. Already putting a defense out for an L. This is embarrassing. You should delete. To which someone else replies to that reply, saying, Wow, I wonder why Ian wouldn't want to come on Drama Alert. You're taking such an unbiased position. Obviously being sarcastic in that tweet, and then it's retweeted by Ian himself. So, Ian is kind of taking this reply to Keemstar that was meant to be a reply to a stupid troll to kind of prove why he wouldn't want to go on drama alert even though we know that team tries to be unbiased in most of his interviews on drama alert so it does seem a bit snaky that he would retweet a tweet like this but speaking of snake but like behavior he actually does something that is even more definitively snaky so if you guys don't know among youtubers and journalists and stuff it's a common practice to not leak dms if possible usually if you want to leak dms you'd get consent of both people first or if it's in a very dire scenario where your reputation is being ruined then you would leak dms but it's always a last resort type thing but this guy just immediately within five minutes leaked dms from keemstar and keemstar even said himself in this tweet that he did it to bait him into leaking the dms and kind of proving his snake-like behavior which I mean, if you do look at these DMs, it does clearly seem like Keemstar is trying to bait him into leaking them. Remember folks, only ethical journalists drop DMs at the drop of a hat, sources are meant to be burned, me thinks you protest too much. The best part is that it was all a bait to see if he would leak them, and he did. And then Keem kinda caps off the drama by doing a little victory lap by retweeting this tweet saying, Everyone who doesn't see how Keem actually destroyed Ian's credibility just now doesn't know a thing about journalistic integrity, especially for someone involved in Gamergate. Good job, Keem. So this whole drama is about to die down on Twitter, but then this guy tweets out a Andy Warski livestream clip of him just being the most racist piece of shit I've ever witnessed really on the internet. Like, this video is absolutely disgusting and I think qualifies to the highest degree of hate speech, so I can't really show it on YouTube, nor do I really want to on this video, but I will leave a link in the description, the first link to the tweet, so you guys can watch the video for yourself. I really don't think you need to listen to the whole thing because it's very clear uh, what it is about, but like, just the extent of racism in this video is actually mind-blowing i don't know how anyone can think like this and it's just 100 percent disgusting but thankfully keemstar agrees with this saying the video was disgusting and also reiterating that he's not necessarily behind andy just because he's calling out ian and then also points out that ian was friends with andy when andy made that racist ass video fair enough observation figured i'd pull him out of the extreme political crowd to make him more mainstream at the time my mistake was investing in someone that was so clearly too far gone. Well, I mean, that guy is clearly too far gone based off that one racist video, but I mean, it's not like you're any better based off some of these tweets, I'm just saying. Speaking of that, um, someone tweets at Keemstar moments of Ian being racist himself. Hmm, a racist collaborating with another racist. Hmm, wow, seems very out of the ordinary, dude. Then Sky Williams replies to this racist video with pretty much the same opinion as what I have. This is fucking disgusting. I've been on the net for so long, but this made me actually sick to my stomach. Welcome to the Warskiverse. Enjoy your stay, which... God, I'm just getting into all this Warski shit and I don't know if I enjoy it. Uh, it's definitely interesting though. Please believe me when I say I've heard some fucked shit. I've been called every name in the book. People even ridicule me for being raped as a kid and none of that has fazed me, but this is pure, unfiltered, and real racism. Genuine bigotry in the most wretched form. Wow, and I, I agree, I've never heard anything as racist as what was said in that video. And so genuine too, the passion behind the words he was saying is just wow, it's actually disgusting. But take the L and red weddings and stuff, derp. I still stand by that statement completely. Fighting Keemstar is a stupid ass move, but Keemstar would never defend this video, no way. Keep your straw man out of here, bub.
And Keemstar replies, look at this hypocrisy showing that Ian was Andy's friend when Andy was being extremely racist. I don't even think this could get worse. I concede to any and everything I've said on this entire topic now and forever. Just finish the spirit bomb and let me be dead and irrelevant in peace, Lamau. I long for death's cold embrace after seeing all this shit. God, man. I, I relate to an extent with that one. And then to finally finish off this whole drama story, Keemstar recaps it to a fan. Keem, I've been trying my best to piece this all together, but I'm way out of the loop. Can you please make a Twitter video to fill us in on this? Well, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to fill you in with this YouTube video. But Keem replies with, basically two people owned a gaming channel and one guy stole it. The guy that stole it said it wasn't stolen because it was a verbal agreement. And now they are exposing each other for past racist stuff. And one tried to attack him because I invited him on the show and I trolled him. God. What a interesting story. Very complex and crazy. But if you like- wait, what is that? What's that sound? Is that- Oh boy! It's time for bonus drama! B -b 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 bonus drama! Tommy C enters the battle by saying, I was wrong about Keem hanging out with wacko white nationalist. He fits right in. He has a perfect mentality for that world. Quoting the tweet where Ian showed leaked DMs from Keemstar. Then he follows it up by replying to a tweet where Keemstar said that whole DM conversation with a bait, saying, it's just a prank bro, being sarcastic and insinuating that it wasn't a bait at all. Then he goes on to tweet at Team YouTube, I know this didn't happen on your platform, but we can't have million sub YouTubers making threats like these to smaller channels if they don't get their way, just to play it off as a joke later. Then Tipster responds to Tommy by saying, Please tell me you weren't too dumb to see that those DMs were a clear setup, Tommy. I refuse to believe that you were that dumb. Setup for what? He advertised the show, Ian refused, and acted like he normally acts when he doesn't get his way. And then plays a joke card. The only thing that is clear is the cop out of a major fuck up. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Come on, dude. You're telling me you read those DMs and they came off as serious to you? Shaking my head. Tommy knows this is a troll. He's just trying to play stupid to trick stupid people. Now, my opinion on this is that I don't think Tommy is trying to trick anybody. I think he legitimately thinks this, but I still don't necessarily agree with him that the DMs weren't a troll by Keemstar. Then Tommy goes on to bring up a stream he did about two years ago regarding a story where Keemstar tried to tell a 17-year-old to send a fake news story to Tommy so Tommy would report it on his show. Basically saying, yeah, this was a troll too, and you play the same card you did with Ian, which I don't personally agree that that scenario correlates to this scenario exactly. You can watch his live stream to be 100% sure. It is an hour long, so I don't think you guys would have the time to watch it, and I'm not going to personally re-watch it for this video, but I personally don't think the two situations correlate, but that's just my opinion. Keem replies with, Tommy, as a victim of my pranks and trolls, I can see this new troll has you triggered, bringing you much emotional pain. For what it's worth, I'm not sorry. This is too funny. Boomer Wars Episode 1, The Gnome Menace. <laughs> oh my god. Now the thing about Keemstar and his trolls with Tommy that you guys gotta understand is that sometimes Keemstar legitimately fucks up. And Tommy is always super quick to judge Keemstar on anything he does wrong because of his personal past relationship with him. But whenever Keemstar notices Tommy latches on to a mistake he did, he always insinuates it in a certain way to where only Tommy C will get riled up and tries to bait him into going deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole of arguing with Keemstar about a certain issue and trying to like get him to make a big fuss over a certain situation and I'm not saying Tommy is necessarily dumb for taking the bait or trying to expose Keemstar because I do think he should be called out for certain things he does, but Keemstar very clearly tries to rile Tommy up and he always takes the bait and that is the trolling that Keemstar is referring to and the proof that Tommy is referring to is legitimate criticism against Keem, it's just that it isn't extremely relevant to YouTube as a whole. Keemstar has done so much fucked up shit that like these little stories aren't very important to people when it comes to Keemstar's reputation. Anyways, to continue this, we have Tommy replying to Tipster, saying, I made myself clear. If for some reason this is not a cop-out, you can't be doing that shit joke or no joke. Ian has no way of knowing and Keem never quits. He's done gay ops on me tons of times. They were outraged about 
you told me personally in the DM. So to act like it's not a possibility is just dishonest. You know what he's done to me and others. That's what I think he says there. He misspelled it horribly. I threatened to like this before. Never got. I was just kidding. Okay, okay. Tommy, your grammar here, I, j I really just don't understand exactly what you're trying to say, but we'll move on. Keem started on YouTube as a troll. He is still very much a troll. As an online personality, you should know by now how to deal with trolls. If he bothers you that much, just ignore him. Which is something I agree with, but to be fair, it's really hard to ignore Keemstar. So I also get where Tommy is coming from. You skip over Tommy's points and make the dumbest argument ever. Reread what Tommy said, because his point is solid. And then come back and try again, please. Arguing Keem is a troll isn't going to work because he proved in the past he'd go as low as possible to win. Tipster replies with an image saying, who the fuck are you? Tommy responds to this saying, you're really gonna pull the you're too small for me card? Call me crazy, but it's starting to look like the growth is going to your head. I'm pretty shocked. After all we've been through, I thought you knew me better than that, bro. Shaking my head. Then Tipster goes on to say, I'm probably one of the most insecure creators on the platform. I never think my stuff is good enough. I am literally my own worst critic. I have always done anything I could to help other creators, big or small. Yeah, success has gone to my head, if you say so, bro. Now, I really don't think success has gone to Tipster's head. Tipster has been nice to me and helped me in the past. I think he's a genuinely great guy, but I honestly, personally, do relate to this tweet in a lot of ways but moving on you just publicly called me dumb and patronized me with tommy 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 you called me out fair enough but when i do it you play victim come on i stick up for my fans acting like you're better than them is likely going to get me to call you out i don't act like i'm better than anyone tommy i never have and i never will but if that's the way you choose to see it fine interpret that however you like bro i just pointed it out I don't know what's in your heart, but who the fuck are you is kind of arrogant. When the guy was right, which, Tommy, is up to interpretation whether the guy was right or not, but hey, you still have a okay point here. You didn't address anything I said privately or publicly, you just called me dumb. Then a mutual friend of both Tipster and Tommy, Augie RFC, comes in and starts a bit of a thread that I kind of agree with. He starts out by responding to Tipster's tweet saying he's his own worst critic. No dude, it's how you respond to certain comments. That's where Tommy is coming from. I don't think you've let fame get to you, but I also don't think Tommy is stupid. This situation got way too messy. I'll state for the record, what Keem did to Ian was so obviously a troll. Even if it wasn't, there was nothing incriminating in the DMs. But Tommy feels differently given his own personal relationship with Keem in the past and that's fair. He's not stupid for thinking that. Then Nick Diorio, one of the people that helped Tommy with his show, Shot From The Point, mentions, Must be one of those two-year-old bamboozles that me, Tommy, and iDubs are too low IQ to understand. Showing the clip from the iDubs content cough where he mentions Keem threatening him in the end. Augie responds with, That clip just looks like Keem's ego talking. Keem starts DMs with Ian, nothing wrong. Referring to the Ian in this drama scenario, not I dubs Ian. Keem's antics with a 17 year old to get Tommy to report false news, hell no, that's weird. Make no mistake, I'm no fan of Keem, but his interactions with Ian was nothing he hasn't said publicly. Tommy brings up that there was also stuff with Keem and Turkey Tom. Keem trolls, but it will never be an excuse for his odd behavior, especially with minors like Turkey Tom, Aiden, and the 17 year old. Ian. All those DMs were just him talking shit as usual. I don't really see how IMC is a big situation in comparison to other cases. That's all I'm saying. And then Tommy, of course, replies with the classic wink, dude. This is my favorite response to anything. No matter what, if you want to ignore something, but you still want to have a little bit of a comment in there, just wink, dude. That fucking wink. I absolutely love it, even though I do agree with Augie on that last tweet. Then we have a couple tweets just saying from fans that they are a little afraid that Tipster and Tommy aren't friends anymore, but it's very clear that just because they had a disagreement does not mean they're not friends anymore, and you can still be critical and call out people's mistakes without hating them. I wish a certain person would know that, because I made a video criticizing him, and um, yeah, he got a bit salty, uh, but that is not what this video is about. I already talked about what this video is about, and the video is now over. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.